Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about that, yeah. All right, so right now we're getting into Joe's favorite part of the show, which is our top 10. Every week, me and Joe do a top 10 countdown of something. Previous top 10 lists, we have done our top 10 female MCs. Top 10 New York City anthems. We did biopics. Biopics. Remixes. Soundtracks. Remixes. Uh, uh, West Coast singles. We did a lot of stuff. Last week we did um top 10 90s hits. That was last week? Yeah. Oh, hey, that was last week. So this week we're doing top... No, we didn't. Yes, last we week did. we did top 10 producers. Oh, I lied. Last week we did top 10 <laughs> producers. The week before that we did 90s yeah, yeah, hits. Yeah, yeah, we did 90s hits. Um, But this week we are doing top 10 hip-hop record labels. Uh, which is big and major because there are a lot out there when you look at their roster, projects that they put out, people that they had under them. Um, it's big. So how was it for you putting this list together? Easy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Real easy. So Joe said it was easy. All right, so let's just get straight into this list because yeah, you said easy. it was easy. I'm curious to see what's on your list and what's not on your list. Okay. All right, so number 10. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I had to make sure I wasn't cheating. All right. Okay. Number ten. What you got? I got so so deaf. I got young money, cash money. Okay. Number nine, I got Rough Riders. Number nine, I got Top Dog. My list is crazy. Number it's eight. Get better. Number eight, I got G Unit. Number eight, I got Rough Riders. Number seven, I got No Limit. Number seven, I got Death Row. Number six, I got Cash Money. Number six, I got Loud Records. Number five, I got Aftermath. Number five, I got Cash Money. Number four, I got Rockefeller. Number four, I got Def Jam. Number three, I got Death Row. Number three, I got Aftermath. Number two, I got Bad Boy. Number two, I got Rockefeller. Number one, I got Def Jam. Number one, I got Bad Boy. No. Nah. There's no way. Hell yeah. Def Jam? Bad Not Boy? One? Bad Boy? Look how many people Def Jam. Look how many, look, look how many artists. Look how many artists Def Jam Bad put Boy? out there, though. But Bad Boy? Nah. Yes. Yo, I got, I got, I got. I got bad boy. I got bad boy too. But, but you got I, I could not put. I, I put I bad boy at number one just because, like, I get what you're saying. Like Def Jam, like their roster was crazy. All the people that they had under them. But what bad boy did and how they changed hip hop and how they still continue to influence hip hop today is crazy. Yo, and Def Jam Diddy is, is Diddy. Diddy is Diddy. But that's and but bad boy will Def never Jam, die as long yo. as Diddy is still out here. Not bad for boy nothing though. Die. Like bad boy, bad boy is only responsible for big French. Machine Gun Kelly. Look how many people Def Jam is responsible I mean, for. Yeah, y'all. but Def Jam, Def Jam, Jam, Blige, Little Kim, Junior Mafia. I Little feel like Def so Jam is way more do you relevant, wanna, right, though. So do you want to count the people that Def Jam is responsible to, for? No, we don't have to count. I'm just saying, I think, to me personally, I think Bad Boy, their impact and influence was crazy and huge. Even with having a smaller roster of people compared to Def Jam, what they did and the accolades that they reached with a smaller roster compared to Def Jam is astronomical. I don't know, man. That, Hands that, down. That, we both, but we can say without both of them, hip hop would definitely be different. They're that definitely Def Jam roster. I'm talking parts. about from that Def Jam roster, like from late '80s till now, is ridiculous. I hear you, but yo. Bad Boy is just like Bad Boy is just untouchable. And not for nothing, French I'm saying, is French is very important to hip hop right now as we speak. Like he got yo, he got Diddy hits is out. important to hip hop. Diddy yeah, isn't the too. best lyricist. He don't write his own shit, but Diddy is crucial to hip hop. Crucial. Like if there's a hip hop hall of fame. Diddy has to be inducted in there. Yo, word up. Yo, that Def Jam lineup is... The, the, the Def Jam lineup got all the greats. The Def Jam lineup but had DMX. But y'all both right, though. Y'all both right, though. The Def, the right, Def Jam lineup had LL Cool J. You know what I mean? The Def Jam lineup had Red the, Man, It's not Method just the Man. talent, too. It's the business savvy also. And Diddy, when it comes to business and, and Def, getting shit done... Diddy more than Def Diddy. Jam? Diddy is Diddy. More than still, Def Jam, people though. still talked about Biggie. How many years after his death? Nineteen years. Yo, they doing a bad Def boy Jam, reunion yo? based off of what was done in the nineties, and people are fucking with it and buying, it and it's sold out. Nineteen years. Like after you know, Biggie passed if it was away. never no Def Jam, it wouldn't even be a Rockefeller Records. That was a joint deal. Like you know, what I mean, it wouldn't even be a Rockefeller Records. It wouldn't even be a Rockefeller Records if it ever Def Jam. Listen, so what you saying is? What wait, saying. hold up. What you saying is? 
Bad Boys is like Burger King and Def Jam is like McDonald's. McDonald's is nasty as fuck. Bad Boy is in and out Shake Shack, Snippers, all, <laughs> good bur- all the good burger places. Yo, yo, Petey, which one would you rather be signed to? And Craze, which one y'all, y'all rather be signed to? Like right now, like, like like current, like right now, yeah. Like right now, like right now. Right now, current artist that's under Def Jam: Justin not, Bieber, Rihanna, Kanye oh, West, oh Jay Z, Trinidad James, Rick Ross, Lady listen. Gaga, Big you Sean, you Elk don't J, Mariah Carey. I just said that it's not just about the talent. That's look one the, part of look the, at the lineup, the, the, though. One, the talent is one part of the look entire at the company. Look the lineup, though. It's about longevity. It's about your business sense. It's about Jay Z's part of. It's about Def Jam. Got nobody got more. Going on and on. Nobody had more. Biggie died no, 19 years no. ago, and they're doing a fucking bad boy reunion there's for no, his birthday. There's no a whole celebration for no, him. There's no there's people no. that didn't even live speak. when Biggie was out and I'm still fuck with Biggie. I'm speak. Know that Biggie is one of the top five rappers I'm dead of speak. alive. Consider Juicy to be the best hip hop song ever made. Ain't nobody, nobody can tell me nothing. There's no you can hip say hop you say though, but label you can say you with say more though. longevity than Def Jam. Bad boy is it. It's a fact. Bad boy is it though. It's a bad fact. Bad boy is it. What, I don't care what, what you okay, say. Okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bad boy got it. Let's let's get it. No more Jeopardy. Did he? Bad boy got it. Bad boy got it. Yo, wait, wait, Joe, 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 Aisha, Aisha. It's a fact. But what is the what is the the statement like? It's a fact. Is that bad boy is better than Def Jam? Is, is for me, I think what bad boy did for the industry and their impact to me, what I've seen. And again, I understand the rosters. I understand Def Jam had more people signed under them. But when you look at Bad Boy, Let me tell you something. And no, I'm not done. When you look at Bad Boy something. and the number of people that they had under them, they don't have as many people as Def Jam. But yet, the accolades that they did, the the awards that they got, the the fucking borders that they treaded with a small amount of people that they got is fucking phenomenal. Nobody can't tell me shit about that. The you only can't. even the if only had, artist only if, even if you had ten people and Def Jam had a hundred. When you look at that ratio as to, all right, what they actually did with that small amount of people is crazy. I don't think Bad Boy has it's any crazy. artist it's that crazy. sold more than a Def Jam artist. It's crazy. I don't even think any Bad Boy artist. It's not just about sales. But look how many, look how but many, it's not about look how many historians. But it's not what are we going sales, off? Are we going though? off the significance in hip hop? Yes. It's it not, gotta be that Jam, bro. Exactly, but that's not just about sales. When you do Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it's not about who sold the much. The L-L. most. It's about influence. It's Def about Jam. impact. It's BMS. about how the person changed Def the game. Jam. About how people Rick today Ross. are still Def looking Jam. at that business plan Jeezy. and that model and Def mimicking Jam. themselves after them. How many people mimic Big themselves Sean. after Biggie? They said Jay-Z Jay- mimic himself off of Biggie. But he's under Def There's Jam. There's artists now that mimic themselves under, under Def Jam. Where's Biggie under? Exactly. Rockefeller. That's it's it. Mad that's people, it, though. It's mad people. That's it, though. It's not that shit, though. What you Tupac mean? Tupac was Death Row. What, what you mean? I had, De- I had Death Row like number three. Death Row's on my list too. I'm just I saying, I think three. what Bad Boy did, I think what Bad Boy did is phenomenal. I had him, I had him number three. But, but Def Jam, you gotta look at the Hands Def Jam. Hands down, Jam. Bad Boy. Hands down. Take that, take that. Longevity, longevity <laughs> is Def Jam, yeah. Take that, take that. I like Bad Boy, that's just personal. But person, that, that's right, personal. I, I, that's just said, personal. But I already said, but I already said, I don't care that's what you personal, say to me, yo, Bad Boy is number personal. one. That's why we do this top ten. Def Jam is it ain't definitely Joe, number one. It ain't Joe yeah. and Joe's list. It's Joe and Aisha's list. Jam and Aisha's going to put one, whatever yeah. she wants on her list on <laughs> if you her look list. At that Whatever's going to be number one for Aisha is going to be number one for Aisha. You, Whatever's going to be number two going to be number two. But Aisha's speaking on passion. Joe's no, speaking on facts. Aisha, I just Joe's said speaking on facts, yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm speaking on facts, yeah. All right, let me say something. Mine's a fact. No, listen, listen. Mine's a fact. Listen, an elephant is bigger than an ant, right? No, mine's a fact. No, listen, an elephant is bigger uh, than an ant, right? It's a fact, though. An elephant is bigger than an ant, right? I hear you. Is that a yes or no? I hear you. Is that a yes or no? No, I hear you. No, but that's not an option. Is it yes or no? My, my, my option is I hear you. So an elephant is bigger than an ant, but yet, according to science, ants are stronger than elephants when you look at their ratio and what they can do and what they can move compared to their size. But the elephant Making can still kill the ant, though. In the world. But the elephant can still kill the ant, though. Yo, this is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aisha. I like Bad Boy. I like Bad no, Boy. No, because I, I, think, I get what y'all saying, but I feel like you being kind of small-minded and just looking I'm at really the numbers. Not. No, I'm looking at the artist. No, 
artists. You're just looking at no, the numbers. I, I didn't mention at one number. I, mi- did, I though, mentioned the you artists, said, look though. Look at roster. Look at how many people they have. That's the that's roster. Quantity. That's, that's not, numbers. No. That's numbers. That's, that, that's, that's numbers. No, I, that's, that's not, numbers. I, I'm not talking about that's album numbers. sales. I'm talking about that's all of the artists they had, though. Are artists not numbers? You're doing it by quantity. Yo, it's too many artists, bro. You're doing it by quantity. Exactly. You're looking at the numbers. Saying it's too many artists, you're looking at the numerical value. It's almost not even fair, to be honest. It's almost not even not fair. for nothing not though. Not for nothing though. The artists that Def Jam have uh, on their roster are pretty legendary by themselves. Like, like let's say Justin died right now, he'd be legend. But, but let, me, let me just tell you something. You take Biggie off Bad Boy, they don't got no legendary artists. Who? Who? Mary J. Blige? Who? Mary J. Blige is for the Uptown Records, not Bad Boy. Get your shit right. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. Get hold your up, shit. Hold up, we got right. Google. Here, Uptown got Records. Bullshit. That's Andre she Farrell. Was bad boy too. No, no. It's yes, Andre she Farrell. She's one of Uptown was. Records. No, she, she was, was not. Though. No, she was not. She was though. Look it up. She That's was why they got though. Google. She's, she's, she's one of Uptown she's, Records. Yeah, she no, she was not. Yes, she was. She's no, part she of Uptown Records. She's one of Uptown Records. Little Kim. Andre Farrell. Little Kim. Nah. And again, Come on. Diddy No, own. no. Diddy yo, own. yo, but Diddy not for nothing. Again, look, look, but again, not for nothing. I don't say. I really don't give yo. a fuck. Oh. I already did my list. No. I already did my list. Like, I don't no. give a fuck. Yo, everybody from Bad Boys on Uptown no. Records, though. You heard? No, yo. You heard? Everybody from Bad Boys. I mean, not everybody, but Sean, uh, Diddy, Heavy D, Mary J. Blige, Joe C, Biggie. Teddy Riley, so for real. They're that's all what? up top. They're uptown uptown. Records. Yeah. That's Uptown Records. That's not Bad Boy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's Andre Farrell. That's the, that got nothing to do with Diddy. Diddy got fired. Diddy artists is Biggie, Craig Mack, and on. Not Mary J. Blige, not Jody C. We still have a That's none of them. He got 112. He got Macy. He got all of those. You know what I mean? All right. Again, you're entitled to your opinion, and I'm going to have mine. And when we do a top 10 list, we could go back and forth debating, but you can't question what I choose to do and what I choose I to say. I have bad boy too. List. It's not like I didn't have bad right, boy on the but list. But you're like, oh, but how you gonna one? have number one? Because that's what I want as number one. Because I think bad, bad boy's influence is huge. Plain and simple. Not bigger than the six. The Listen, six. hold on. This is what I don't understand, though. You real fickle That's like saying funny. Steph Curry because better than Jordan. Because when we do our list, and when you didn't have Prince Purple Rain on your soundtrack things, I wasn't like, oh, you didn't have Prince. You didn't have Purple Rain. How dare you? I wasn't doing all that rah rah shit. I let you live. We having a debate and a discussion. Like, what the fuck? It's not about being right or wrong. It's about having a discussion. The six god hand said. The six god hand said they only had one legendary artist. They did. What was your response, Aisha? I again, y'all say y'all talking about quantity and numbers. I'm it's just, not I'm just the messenger. about numbers. And I'm I'm telling it to you, the messenger, and I'm telling it to whoever. It's not just about the number of artists that you have. It's not just about the quantity. It's about the quality. It's about what you have done, how you've transcended. So bad boy it's about your impact. Jam? Oh my fucking god! I'm not having this conversation no more. I'm not repeating myself. Bad boy had more quality. We done and than we finished. We done nah, and we, we finished. Nah, we not finished, man. We gotta go to. We, we definitely not finished, yo. We not finished, yo. We bad boy had more quality, and then we gonna come back Dre. and do battle bars. Question Dre. or not? Dre, can bad you go boy to had a video? more. Dre, Dre, can you question. go to a video and then bad we gonna come more back to do bar, battle bars? Cause it's like 9:45 right now. Huh? Yeah, late night taboo is coming on at 10 o'clock. Huh? Make sure y'all stay tuned. That's so we are gonna go to a video, and when we come back, we're gonna do battle bars. This week we're doing J 